Hello friends, welcome to DP Tutorials. Please subscribe to DP Tutorials and click on the bell icon for notifications. In this tutorial, let us learn about critical and near critical activities in Primavera P6. You might know that the critical path in Primavera schedule by default contains activities with the total float as zero duration. Of course, other option that you can select the longest path as a critical path. Okay, but what about the near critical activities? They are those activities which may turn as critical within few days. Means activities which have less total float are known as near critical activities. Now, let us see how we can show the near critical activities in our project schedule. So this is my sample schedule. First, let us create a filter called near critical. First, open the filters dialog box by clicking this icon and click on new button to add a new filter. Give name as near critical and condition as total float is within the range of 0.1 days to 10 days. Okay, click OK. Now apply this filter to check that it is working fine. See here, you can see all those activities whose total float is less than 10 days and greater than zero. You are aware that in the Gantt chart, all the critical activities are shown as red bars by default. Now let us see how to create a near critical activity bar. Right click in the Gantt chart area to open the bars dialog box. Click on this bars. Now click on critical remaining work bar here and click on add. By doing this, we will have the new bar visible just under this selected row. Okay. Now give a name to this bar as near critical. In the time scale column, mention the value as remain bar. And in the filter column, select both the normal and near critical filter okay and now in the bottom portion set the bar color and patterns as per your wish say like i'm putting color of the bar as orange and pattern like this okay once you're done click ok now see the schedule you can clearly see in the gantt chart both the critical activities and near critical activities without applying any filters you can see red color and the orange color okay thereby you can identify the critical and near critical activities so friends using this technique you can have different colors for bars based on your priorities which will easily differentiate them from the other activities that's all friends that I would like to share with you all through this video. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. If yes, please do give me a like, share and comment. For further more interesting videos, please do subscribe to Tutorials. Thank you friends. Thanks for watching.